Hey guys, Jarek and Mookie, you're going to be doing some more Halo 5, this time just doing some Team Slayer on Pegasus. I said before I'm not really a big fan of this map. I'm getting more used to it knowing where to go, but I'm still not really a big fan of the way it plays out. Typically, I I'd prefer maps that are just a little bit more up close in your face without feeling cramped. And this map is definitely not up close in your face. It, it is a map that's going to reward you grabbing the light rifle and the DMR and kind of sitting back a little bit. It, uh, it feels like... It you feels can like approach. I'll say that. You can yeah. approach if you know what you're doing, but it's a lot riskier. So this map, I feel, caters toward bigger games than 4v4s, I would say. like it almost... Yeah, I, f I feel like this is like... <laughs> it's that say awkward PC. size where it would be good for if there was something that was in between Big Team Battle and Team Slayer. Exactly. Something like, that would be like 6 for 6 it would probably work. Yeah, because as it is right now, it feels like it's too big to be like viable competitively, you know? Yeah, and I should probably clarify. So this game, not a very good game at all, but the reason I'm uploading it is because I used the light rifle a decent amount towards the end. Uh, I got a lot of AFK kills. Usually that's like, I'm not going to upload this, people are AFK, so, but I'm uploading it specifically because it shows the specific damage of the light rifle. This thing's amazing. Light like, rifle so good. <laughs> it, it honestly feels like a slower, more accurate version of the Halo 1 pistol. The damage model is basically identical. It's three shots to the head, they're dead. I don't know if like the damage changes based on being scoped or not. I don't. I don't know either. I, I need to figure that out. I feel like it's four shots if you're not scoped and three if you're scoped. So I think it changes, but that might be wrong. So I don't believe that information. What I do know is that three headshots when you're scoped kills, yes, and sir. that is amazing. But yeah, the light rifle is just like <laughs> they really like made the light rifle a viable weapon. Yeah, it was pretty useless in Halo Four. Not gonna lie, like you could use it, but it really wasn't very good. It was more flashy than anything, like... It was a cool gun and I liked it and I always wanted to use it. I typically want to run with the guns that are a bit rarer and no one really uses. Yeah. That was definitely one of those guns that no one really used, so I wanted to use it, but I could never really find it to be that effective. Like, I could use it, but I'm not going to be running around killing everyone like you can't the battle rifle. It was like that awkward, like, sort of midpoint between the BR and DMR, but it didn't really feel like it did either of the roles. I honestly felt like it was a longer... It had more range than the DMR. I felt like it was a uh, even longer DMR, like in between the DMR and Sniper. Something like that. It was, I don't know. It, and it for something that was supposed to be the the counterpart of the DMR, it didn't feel like it. It certainly did. I think it took like four or five shots to go. I think it was five shots with the light rifle, which is, in my opinion, it should have been four. But whatever. Yeah, it. I don't know. Before it wasn't very good. I feel like they've taken the criticisms to heart though, and they've definitely changed it a lot. And now it doesn't really feel like a the counterpart of the DMR either. It kind of feels like it's its own gun with its own entity. It's like a... I don't want to say a sniper rifle status weapon, but it's pretty close. Yeah, it's it's definitely more... I think they took the role that it had in Halo 4 and just plain made it better. Uh, it's definitely in between like DMR and sniper. Yeah. Like, I feel like I do a little bit better up close with the DMR than I do with the light rifle. You can use it up close, but if you miss one shot, you're dead. Like, there is no leeway. It is pretty slow. Like, like I've described it before, by the way, nice spawn, Halo. Uh, like I've described it before, it feels like the Halo 1 pistol's damage model, where, you know, it's three shots to kill, but it doesn't shoot as near as fast, but it is more accurate. It doesn't feel like there's any bloom to it. I don't think there is. I think it's all just dead accurate, which is pretty nice. When you're scoped, anyway. I, I'm not sure about when you're hit. I, I'm really not sure about how this thing works when you're hip firing, because it doesn't... You don't get the impression that you want to hit fire it. You really don't. So typically, I am a little bit more cautious when I'm using it. Play a little bit slower. Mm -hmm. But I did a few times approach, and I feel like you can approach. Just, you really have to know what you're doing. I don't know, I'll definitely want to use it uh, when Halo 5 comes out. It's one of those guns where if it's there, I went out of my way to pick it up. It's pretty freaking good. It's like not a power weapon, but it's... It's, it's like a. It's not, but it's good. Yeah, it's like a. It's like a sub power weapon. I want to say. Also, what I have been doing recently is I've been using the assault rifle a lot more often. Uh, you can kind of throw out your previous Halo experience when it comes to weapons because the assault rifle up close is always a viable option. Air is really freaking good. Like, uh, it's. Like, at range, obviously, even, like, medium range against a battle rifle, you, you don't want to do that. But if they're in your face, I feel like the assault rifle can win against the battle rifle. Absolutely. Like, uh, if someone gets a perfect, then you're probably going to die. But with flinch still in the game as of right now, it's very difficult to do that. 
You know, the thing is, if somebody gets a perfect, I, at least at this point, with, as you said, Flint still in the game and all of this weird stuff going on, I feel like they kind of deserve the kill because their aim was on. I feel like it's a lot harder to get perfect in this game than other ones. Uh, the aim assist was probably toned down quite a bit. Also, oh. this jump. This jump is amazing on this map. You can stand up here and shoot people. And no one expects you to do it. I, I didn't do it at any point in this game, but a lot of the times they'll want to like stop there because they're getting shot at from people above. So if you stand there, you can start shooting at them and they'll have no idea where you are because no one expects you to shoot at you from that angle. They'll start looking around like, well, where? They get so confused. You can only do it like once per game though because then they start catching on. So that's pretty funny. But yeah, this is, I believe this is where I started using the, the light rifle more often. See, so yeah, this is where the AFK, three shots to the head, just gonna kill. I just want to say how badass the sights are on this thing. You yes, know? the scope on this thing is amazing. You know, I, I don't know how I feel about like the, the BR, DMR, like having to look through a scope thing, but this is just like, wow. <laughs> I like I, this. I'm completely okay with it because I felt like the... The previous optic for this just looked like, how does this work? Mm -hmm. and so I'm pretty sure that... I'm pretty sure I got headshots and all that, so it looks like it is four shots to the head if you're not scoped. Which is still a pretty generous time to kill with this thing. It's not going to beat everything out, but it works. Rockets, so balanced. Oh my god. <laughs> um, so, so I think I failed with rockets here, but in my experience, the rockets are the most fucking overpowered bullshit in this game. And the reason I have a complaint with it is because if you jump and you're at the height of your jump... Okay, I didn't fail there. I got to double kill the rockets here. But if you're at the very height of your jump and they shoot a rocket at the ground below you, it will kill you. Even if you're at full shields and full health. And in my opinion, that needs a nerf because you basically can't avoid it at that point. If you jump and boost away, you can get away, but you're still going to get a good sizable chunk of your shields and health taken off. Yes. That's way too strong. Uh, I can get the logic with it because they wanted to, you know, if there's more mobility, then the rockets are going to be harder to use, but you went a little too far. I have to agree. Like, um... I, I oh, man, I missed that shot. That was... Right as I say that, say it's OP, 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 but, uh, yeah. that was just a bad shot. If I shot at the ground next to him, I would have killed him. I tried to nail him with it, which, you know, you never do that. Never, never do that in Halo. This ain't Quake where you can just, like... Well, actually, it wasn't easy and quake either. What am I talking about? I was going to say, pretty much no game with a rocket. You want to hit them directly. I've seen some amazing quake montages, though. So The light, the light rifle doesn't seem to be like a, a try shot either anymore. I think it should just be one big beam. It's, I, I think it's just a giant horizontal fan of three bullets that are super tight, but I could be wrong. Like, I don't know if they're like three different projectiles or if they're just an effect. But I, can't, I can't really quite tell. What I can say is that when someone else is shooting it, it is the most visible thing. <laughs> Across the entire map, it's like shooting one giant tracer. It's kind so of like the, um, the... You will get people's attention if you're using it. Be expecting the sniper to be like, oh, hey, there he is, and then shoot back. But, I mean, you can counter-snipe someone with this thing, so, you know. Yeah, yeah. It, it almost feels like the binary rifle, in a way. Like it's Just nowhere near as strong, yeah. Yeah, just like a like a smaller binary rifle. The, the laser beam of death that yes. everyone can see from across the map. That gun was fun to use. That was definitely one of the the guns I was happy with in Halo Four. That gun was so ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Anyway, this has been some more Halo Five. Hope you guys have enjoyed it, and we'll see you later.